Now, normally, I don't even get down with silicone cases. Y'all know it's really not my thing, especially if that silicone case from you know who, who phone that we talking about in this case review. But this ESR soft cloud case kind of made me a believer. If you want to go out there and spend overspend for the actual Apple silicone case, just don't. If you don't really care about colors like that, just go out there and grab this because this thing right here, and I'm not even going to front to you. Now, I, I work with ESR. They send me stuff all the time, and I'm going to be real with y'all, man. I'm usually not a big fan of ESR cases. I'm just going to keep it all the way a buck because you know how we do on this channel. But this one right here may have just changed my mind with it. So let's go ahead and talk about it. And the first thing you're going to see is it's going to be silicone. So it will get a few smudges. It is what it is when it comes to silicone cases. It doesn't matter what brand you get out there. You will be see you can see a little smudges, but then just, just wipe them off. I'm trying to find my little rag to where I can just wipe them off, but I can't find it. There we go, there we go. And then you just wipe it off. You know what I mean? You you can you can worry about this, this smudges later. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at it. This back, you're gonna get a very nice, soft silicone touch material. Very soft, very smooth to the touch. You're gonna get an indentation of the actual MagSafe ring. In my opinion, I probably would've liked that just to be in the inside of it and not necessarily back here. But I don't know if that may be the way the case is made. It just, it, it just could be what it is, all right? Especially when it comes to that inside. Now on the inside, you're gonna get a very very nice soft touch and that's good to see so you get a little ESR braiding there you're going to get those strong ESR magnets very nice soft touch and you're going to get the same rubberized soft touch buttons no metal buttons or anything like that accurate cutouts when it comes to the bottom but the cherry on top the icing on this case is going to be the kickstand and this thing right here I used to always be like I hate those type. I would never use it this has become one of my favorite case features that's out there and I wish a lot of people would do it especially ones that have very good cases, especially the ones that I tend to rock on a daily basis. I like this little feature, man, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's weigh it and let's see what she is She is weighing with. And this is also gonna be a metal ring, by the way. It's not no cheap plastic. It's gonna be a metal ring right there. Dropping it on the actual stand, it's gonna be 50 grams. So it does have a little bit of weight to it to be a silicone case. I'm gonna tell you, but a lot of it's probably coming in this little stand right here. But let's go ahead and throw the phone on. And this is just where the magic happens, man. When that bad boy snaps on, it is up there with some confidence, and I am here for it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and take a look around it. So on the top side, it's going to be completely closed. With that smooth touch on that right side, you're going to get a little ESR. You can see it's indented in there. ESR take made easier. Tech made easier. Talk words to you. On that right side, power button, perfectly tactile. No issues at all. Down below, you're going to get those accurate cutouts for your type c and your speakers i always want to say lightning over here you're going to get another little cutout i guess that can be for a little lanyard or something like that if that's what you run on your phones volume up and down just listen to that super tactile power button action button i mean because you know company's been struggling with that do you hear that super tactile when it comes to that action button. So that is amazing to see there. And flipping it over on the back, you can see that little lip that comes with that camera ring. But like I said, that camera ring is a kickstand, which is just a very, very nice sturdy stand. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's take a look at that lay on the table protection. Now it does have a little lip that goes around it. I have a tempered glass screen protector up there. And I'm gonna tell you the truth, it's not really it's not giving heavy duty protection. You know when it comes to silicone cases, that's just going to be middle ground. That's just what you're going to get when it comes to the protection of silicone cases. So I wouldn't really expect too much more out of it. But it does fine. If you're not really a person that drops your phone all the time, a lot of you run silicone cases. So you know what it is when it comes to the protection. And I think you'll be just fine when it comes to it. Now, let's take a look at the actual fit of it because that's the thing that really surprised me and when you're talking about silicone cases you can go out there and get a ton out there that's that the fit is terrible everything moves on the sides but not this esr let's go ahead and look at the rigidness man it's nothing moves even for it to be silicone and even by the buttons you're going to get a little movement but it's very firm still look at my thumbs as I always say look at the blood in my thumbs Everything is good, top and bottom. The only spot that you're gonna get a little movement is right where the port is. As you can see right there, but right as soon as you get on the outside of that port, the case firms right back up. Very good fit when it comes to this case. When I snapped it on, I was like, wow. That's what I'm talking about. That case right there feels really well. And then when it's popped on the actual phone, it's up there. You can hear every corner has a nice 
little pop on it and it has a very nice satisfying click going all the round when it comes to all of the corners on the actual case now how does it feel in your hands the thing is a little grippy i'm not gonna lie this silicone material you know silicone can be can be two things it can either be grippy or it can be a little bit slippery and in my opinion i really for right now i find this grippy now as you use it more as your hands get the moisture and different things out there you may tend to find this a little bit slippery but for the most part, I feel like this feels pretty good. You know what I mean? And then even one thing that I forgot to mention about the, the layer on the table, if you can see the tops up there, it's kind of hard to see, but the top actually has more rays on the very edges of it. So that's going to protect it. Not sure if you can see it, but the edges have is raised up even more. So it's really going to help out when you were talking about that drop protection. That's a nice little, little, little tidbit that I missed right here. But feels good, adds a little bit of thickness, kind of part of the course. When it comes to silicone cases, you know, it's not going to be super thin. It may bulk it up a tad bit, but I can use this as a daily and I don't like bulky things. And I can easily use this as a daily and be perfectly fine with it. So that kind of tells you where that bulk lies when it comes to that. Now, let's go ahead and test out the MagStay strength because, you know, ESR always brings it when it comes to the MagSafe strength. And it has a very confident magnet. Now, you can kind of hear it. It wants to pick this bad boy up. Like, it has a very strong magnet. It wants to, but it's kind of like, ugh. You know, it's trying to max out, but you know how you get right there to that peak and you need a little bit of spot? That's kind of what it's doing when it comes to this, man. It wants to get right there, but this has a very strong magnet. ESR always brings it with their magnetic system. It's always probably one of the strongest out there. So the magnet works just fine. And it, you see, it, if I go real slow, I'm probably sure I can get to pick this up, but I'm not about to keep beating my desk up, all right? But you can see it works very strong when it comes to things like that. And then working on... This is what I'm talking about. You can really tell when you have an external battery pack or something up there that's not as heavy as that base. And this magnet is holding on like a grip. It, it, it's really holding on to it. So you can use these accessories with this case in confidence that nothing is going to fall off. And then let's get to that icing on the cake, which is going to be that kickstand. This kickstand is very, very firm. And I know people who bring extra accessories with them, whether it's into the office, to be able to prop their phone up to look at things. I work a desk job. When I go in the office, I'm always on YouTube. Even when I'm working, I'm always on YouTube. YouTube and it's good to just be able to prop this thing right here play a video and it be good you don't got to worry about it you can adjust the angle with it if you want a little bit for down you can adjust the angle however you want on it but this is just a good look it's one of those features that's there when you need it as I always say and out of the way when you don't need it and when you don't need it you just close it down right there it says camera guard now ESR you don't got to put camera guard right there I, I we you don't gotta do it. You know, if you wanna do anything, put ESR there, but not camera guard. But it just works really well. This little indentation right here to where you can pop it out. This hinge, as you can see, it, once it gets real close to the closing point, it'll go ahead and close. But as you can see, the angle of this hinge, you can move that thing and it's gonna be all the way from almost 90 to anything and it's gonna stay very strong hinge in my opinion when it comes to this so the esr cloud case man the soft cloud i'm i'm a fan i'm a fan of this case it'll run you about 30 28 close to 30 bucks sometimes you can grab like a lightning sale that's on amazon at the time of recording this video let me just show you real quick because i believe there's something going on but i don't i may not post this on the exact day but if you look at it right now, it is, yeah, it's lightning deal for 26, all right? It's a lightning deal right there. As you can see, my screen brightness is bright, but it's a lightning deal for 26 bucks. In my opinion, that's a steal for what you get for this case. So go out there and grab it. If you're a silicone fan, if you're just not feeling the quality of the Apple silicone cases, because let's just be real, they don't have the best build quality when it comes to their cases, man. ESR is an OG to this game, tried and true, and they just knocked it out the park when it comes to this. But if you got your phone and your cases is all settled, if you need some more accessories, go ahead and check out my best accessories video that I did for the 15 Pro Max. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find something that you need.